heard about Hassan Kef this week when our Kurdish friends told me about what is going to happen to this historic town. It's thousands and thousands of years old and it's an extremely historic city that's about to be destroyed, flooded. When the Turkish government uh, fills up the Lusu Dam on one of the tributaries of the Tigris River. This is part of a war on the Kurdish people, a war to destroy Kurdish culture. In addition to that, it is going to destroy the life, livelihoods of thousands and thousands of people who have been living and farming on that land for many years. Last time I was there was 2017. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful touristic place to go. There is a lot of uh, tourist attention. There is a lot of tourist, tourist boys there and it's a beautiful town. It's a beautiful historical town. It's like everything is just beautiful. Like they, Turkish government, it's, you know, they just want to destroy everything and it's unacceptable. Something needs to be done immediately by UNESCO, by the world. Hasan Kek is the UNESCO heritage, Turkish government, they shouldn't allow Turkish government kill the Kurdish history, world history, 12,000 year old history. The 2030, uh, before there was Turkey tried to uh, put on the dam, and Hasan Kep is a, uh, is a 12 thousand years of history of Hasan Kep. At the moment, Turkish government and try to destroy the Hasan Kep, they try to destroy the memory of the Kurdish people. And we like to uh, urge or we like to call the international community as in uh, global to try to stand up for uh, Kurdish people, as uh, stand up for Hasan Kep. Hasan Kep is one of the most oldest city in the uh, Middle East, especially the Kurdistan region, and which is that uh, Turkey tried to destroy our memory. That's why we're here today in Sydney and Town Hall Square, and we try to be voice of Hasan Kep. We try to invite everyone to be uh, stand up for Hasan Kep and for Kurdish people. And yeah, we're here today to try to be voice of Hasan Kep. I visited Hasan Kep many times. Um, last time I visited there like three years ago. Because my hometown is so close to there and many times we are going there. And it's very nice and historical, cultural place. Yeah. And uh, the first time I think when I went there it was like eight years ago. But last time I went there like three years ago and it was a huge difference. Because uh, of the this, uh, government policy, it's effect there a lot, and the most of the historical places were forbidden to go there and to see. And yeah, like I can say, like 40, 50 percent of the caves they were damaged. It's not just about the flooding. I think the mostly, for me, the most important thing is about the culture. And history, it's, it's, it's the history of the, uh, the people from Mesopotamia and it's, it's not just like Kurdish culture and it's, I think it's very important for the humanity. And Hello everyone, um, we here today try to show our solidarity with Hassan Kef. Hassan Kef is one of the all the city in the Kurdistan region is a 12 of tons of years history and try to destroy the, this history of the Kurdish people and we here today in Sydney uh, as a Kurdish community uh, we try to show our solidarity with uh, Hassan Kiev and we also urge Australian government and Australian community, all international communities try to stand up for Hassan Kiev and we can stop Turkish government destroy the Hassan Kiev. That's why we're here today and we are here today to show our solidarity with Kurdish people and Hassan Kiev.